Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. Hope you've had a good weekend. Still can't believe that the Chargers got beat last night. I turned it off at halftime. I shouldn't have done that. Playoffs are on right now. Hey, I hope you, uh, as I said, I hope you're having a good weekend. Just wanted to talk about our Carterville Lions uh, the week uh, that was and what we're looking forward to coming up this week. Uh, Last week was a busy weekend and it will be more of the same coming up this week as well. Uh, But we want to say congratulations to the Carterville Junior High girls basketball team. They advance on to the state tournament that's going to be taking place up at Rend Lake. That'll be on Saturday when they take on Marion. Congratulations to the junior high girls. They are moving on to the state tournament. Also want to say congratulations to the Boeing team for the guys from Carterville High School as they finished third in their regional competition. That was yesterday, and they advance on to sectionals coming up this week. Congratulations to them. We've had a couple of college signings. First off, we want to start with uh, Kaylin Rice, as she is going to be going up to McKendry to play softball for uh, McKendry. Congratulations to Kaylin on that. And one other signing that's going to be heading to McKendry is Eli Morse, as this week he announced that he's committed to go play football for the Bearcats. And congratulations to both Eli and and to Caitlin, and can't wait to see how your college careers advance on. Carterville cheer yesterday up at Mater Day at the competition there. Junior JV um, cheer, they uh, wound up finishing in second place uh, yesterday that by a quarter of a point, 0.25 from uh, being from winning that competition still pretty good and they're a darn good team and uh, congratulations to the junior varsity team on their second place finish varsity they just keep on a roll and they won the modern day competition congratulations to them now carterville cheer is going to be hosting a cheer showcase that's coming up on wednesday night uh, it's free to the public. It's going to be at the uh, at the high school there. Uh, Six o'clock is when it starts, and it'll be the junior high cheer. It's going to be JV and the varsity cheers. They're going to go through their competitions as they're preparing for state. They're not going to be going to the ICCA uh, competition that they have in years past. Uh, so coming up next, I think, will be um, uh, when they get into the state competition sectionals. Um, so if you've got nothing going on on Wednesday, why don't you head out to the school and uh, watch the cheer showcase? As I mentioned before, this is one of the top cheer programs in the state, and I think you'll be impressed by what you see. Um, Carterville basketball, the boys, they kick off the Superman Classic coming up tomorrow night. 6.15 is the tip-off. They're going to be taking on the Goreville Black Cats. This is uh, the midwinter tournament um, as they're going on all over the region. Carterville will be playing at Massac County. Scott and I will have all the action for you on News Radio WJPF. Starting with our pregame show at 6 o'clock. We'll have tip-off at 6.15 and... Uh, Hope you'll tune in to AM 1340, 99.5 FM. Or if you can't make it and you want to watch the game with a call, just head over to YouTube and uh, we'll have the YouTube stream up and running for you there. Like I said, it's going to be a busy week for Carterville. Sports Wrestling is back at it coming up on uh, Monday, 9 o'clock. They're going to be at the uh, Carmi JV Tournament. Bowling, um, the Carterville Invitation is coming up this week. Then you've got uh, girls JV basketball at Hamco, girls varsity basketball at Cairo. That's on Monday. And then, as I mentioned, the guys are going to be playing in the Superman Classic when they take on Goreville. 6-15 is the tip-off. Um, as we move ahead until Thursday, bowling uh, for girls at Anna Jonesboro, girls basketball uh, versus Marion. That'll be JV and varsity. And uh, Carterville Junior High Boys Basketball taking on uh, Carbondale on Thursday night. And depending on what the Lions do Monday night, depends on when they'll play next, whether it'll be a Thursday night 
I don't even want to talk about that because that means we'd have to get beat tomorrow night against Goreville. Uh, if they win, they're going to play on Friday night. Uh, wrestling is in action on Friday at Vienna. And then Saturday, it's going to be cheerleading. It's going to be, um, let's see, bowling. And, of course, hopefully uh, basketball is going to be playing in the championship game at the Superman Classic. So, as I said, it is a very, very busy week once again for high school sports, junior high sports, as they're getting into postseason action and uh, love all of it. I, I hope you're able to come out to any one of the competition, support those Carterville Lions, and uh, don't forget about the cheer showcase on Wednesday night. And if you can make the trip down to Massac uh, to watch basketball play, the guys are on a roll. They've won six in a row. They blew out Ducoin on Friday night. Um, 93 points they scored uh, on Friday night uh, against Ducoin. And the basketball team is on a roll right now, 14-4 and four on the season. Hope to see you at any one of these events. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And let's go Lions. Have a great evening, everybody. Thank you.